Yo, what up everyone and welcome to part 2 of the Burning Shadows TCG box opening. In the last episode, we got some good pulls. I'm not going to tell you about it, but if you want to check it out, you can. We're going to start from the halfway point in this episode, so you can just watch from here if you want and then go back there. But here we go. We're going to start off with this Necrozma pack. Now, whether full art or not, our goal is to get a Necrozma. A GX would be out of the out of the freaking picture, you know? That Ghost Rare Edition, those are all secret rares, so it's like out of the question to go for those, but... To actually get uh, Necrozma, that would be our next goal. So let's try doing that. So take your code. Let's see what we get. So yeah, we did find in the last part that the packs are each. You can tell what's in it if you look at the code card. You still can, even though it's the third set of the X and Y set. But whatever, dude. Esper, Noibat, Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo. Again, these issues with these sewed things underwater. Heat more. Kiawe, dude. Do not unbless this pack. Mount Lana Kila. Lana Kila. Oh my god, dude. A freaking lichen rock. Isn't that great? You unbless the pack, Kiawe. So yeah, it, this is our code. If you look at it, when you get the infinite cards like that, that means that it's a bad pack. But if you get something like this, that means it's a good pack. So yeah, it really sucks, but yet I don't know if there's a way to determine before you open them. So here we go, Mars Shadow. Mars Shadow gave us some good pulls. <laughs> or good pull in the last part. So let's see if it can do us good here. Oh man, I wonder if each of these are unique too. No, those can't be unique. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see what we get. Okay, again, we're trying to go for Necrozma. And once we get that, we can do our final goal, which is a real secret rare GX. But right now we're after Necrozma. Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Dupiter, NK, hey, Wedding Ralts, Cedra, Plumeria. Lunatone. Hey, I got the the Soul Rock edition. It looks so creepy. It's just looking over the whole town. Mudbray. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to do an Azumarill. Hey, I got a fairy energy for you. Thick fat? You could have been the huge power one. You know, speaking of which, we did get Guzma and Weak as normal trainer cards. Those are also full trainer cards as well that are worth a lot and are super rare as well. So maybe we should go for those. So we'll do that. We'll go trainer card slash Necrozma. That's what we're going for. Um, yeah, we got, yeah, that was an energy. That doesn't count as a trainer card. So yeah, trainer card or Necrozma. I don't know what you're saying. What energy? One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's go. So hope you guys got your, your code. Okay, Riolu, Meowth, going down to Topolis, Alolan Vulpix, Wimpot on the ocean floor, Toganamaru, giant ass Charmeleon. And I know it's not giant. He's on the roof. But he looks giant. Tormenting Spray. Lana. Pokefinder mode. Rotom Dex. Hair Cross for Team Skullgrunt. Energy. What is. It was the Hair Cross? Deja vu. This freaking happened to me already. The exact same way. Why did I fall for it again? It's because I took a break between <laughs> the first part and this. We got a Hair Cross? The same thing happened. I was going through them and then I pulled the packs down. I'm like, what the hell was my rare? Here we go, Topo Fini. This is so weird, dude. That deja vu, dude. Sometimes deja vu's so weird, I'm happy it's just on camera. Let's see how I got to that thought. Okay, Charmander. Alolan Radita. Porygon with the Hyper Beam. Photoshopped. Panpour. What up, Pan Sage? Okay, I like the buzz. Hey, a super scoop up. Rotom Pokedex Finder Mode. Hey, Midnight. Wanna eat me like in rock? What? What are those claws there? Is that your tail or something? I don't even remember how Lycanroc has that. Like, what? Wh what? Dude. Look, I got the evolution of, of Metapod, man. How about you just say it like that? Make me feel even more crap. It's not, no, it's not. If you're thinking, nope, definitely not. I mean, oh, look, oh, holographic. You see that? Is that Bye Bye Heal? I'm very appointed by these packs, which is not the opposite of disappointed and which is not how I feel. What is this? Give me something good. I was saying this in the last part, but the two counterparts and the theme of this booster box is Marsh, uh, not Marsh Shadow, Necrozma and Ho-Oh, which are the Rainbow Pokemon and the Prism Pokemon, which is really interesting because those two words and what they mean and what they do are just, I wonder, you know, with Ultra Sun and Moon coming out too, and there's a focus on uh, Necrozma, what is really going down with what Necrozma is, what's going on. So yeah, it's really cool. They didn't drop much lore, but they're clearly showing us that they didn't forget about Ho-Oh when making the Prism Pokemon. They didn't forget about the Rainbow Pokemon. Okay, more lol. 
Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandy, yes, who scooped you? Tell them to take it out. Porygon 2, that hurts. Is, it, is there something flying right there? There's something flying there. It's a freaking flying Kyogre. Poe Town, doesn't those flying animations look like Kyogre? Dust Clops, Sneasel, whoa! Gardevoir, whoa, okay? Gardevoir GX, Twilight GX, now that's Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Dude, that is so cool. Now it evolves from Curlia. Do you not play a GX card on top of the normal card? Or is it like EX where it just goes straight and skips it right to the X? That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't play the card game for Pokemon. I should get into it. Once per turn, you can attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon and an infinite force. 93 out of 147, I need packs. Here's one thing that sucks. You, other game sleeves just, just don't fit. Let's slide that right in. That is a really good one. So adding that to the pile, we got three GXs in total, and one of them is a full art. So that's gonna just solidify the pool in general, because you wanna be happy with the amount of rares you pull, not just a couple good rares. So let's see, Marshadow, you did good for me. You did really good for me in the in the last part. So let's see, Z2W, that means there's a, there's a Necrozma in here. Nice, we're getting it guys. We're getting Necrozma or some nasty, like, misty trainer card. Vandipede, Horsey, Cutie Fly, Ladybug, a Lolan Grimer in the danger zone, Hipster Simapore. You're like, you don't even go on your Pokeball, you just chill with Guzma. Bodybuilding Dumbbells. These fake Dumbbells are what Guzma uses. Sophocles, you invented them. Oh, yeah, reverse magic card. What you hiding? What you, what you, let's take it slowly. Hey, that's not bad. A Dusk Noir. He's in some fissured zone. What did you do to the land, dude? Dark Invitation? He's the king of the Shadow Realm. Mind Jack. <laughs> he literally is. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. It is said to take lost spirits into its pliant body and guide them home. Well, don't do that. What do you got? A normal energy. Unaffected. You know, actually on a side note, these were the things I was talking about. With these, you, let's see if like one of these would fit. So this card of our GX, right? Would it fit, dude? Cause these Pokemon cards are freaking huge. Come on, yes! This is what you need to do. You do this, your Gardevoir's protected. And if you want to make it playable, make it playable, dude. You got a deck of these, you, you can totally use these. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. This is how I would say to use the cards you pull or actually protect the cards you pull. And then if you want to take a step above this, you can get those actual things that are just to seal your card off. But that's if you're crazy and trying to collect these. And if you're even crazier, then you PSA grade them. That's good. I'm gonna do that with the rest of the cards I get. So here we go. Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh, oh my God, Ho-Oh. I've heard so much about you. You know who told me? Ash, but he doesn't remember. You know, I think they actually said in an interview that Ash never ages. <laughs> I know it's obvious, but they just confirmed it flat out. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't age. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a misunderstanding. Yeah, he doesn't age. <laughs> Meowth. Magikarp. Oh, oh, sunny day. Krogunk. Pikachu. You do not get out of the jungle. You caused the forest fires. Whirlipede. All right, Simisage. Hey, look, that's, that's a, are you, you're lying to me. If you're saying that's not an executor. Dude, you're, you're in a forest of executors. Weakness policy. Weavile. This is it. This is it. This is, it's a scolipede, man. It really is. It clasps its prey with the claws on its neck until it stops moving and then it finishes it off with deadly poison. Besides, if it's your prey, why are you trying to poison your prey and then eat the poison? You're a poison type, fine, maybe you're into that. You know, Dust Noir is getting kind of lone over there. Well, you know, you, you're the goddess that washes away sins with your water or something, right? The top of Feeny Fountain, dude. What did they? What if they made Feeny water in Ultra Sun and Moon? You know, Aqua Fee. I think that's already a thing. They can't do Aqua Fee, but why do I feel like I'm not allowed to say that? Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. But they could do that, man. Feeny water. Yeah, it's, it's not even Aqua Fee. I could say that Aqua Fee. They should do that. I could say it even if it wasn't. I don't know what I'm up about. Okay, Stuffle, Mudbray, Tynamo. Odd, very odd, but maybe oddish. You ugly dust skull. Mount Lanakila. Let's go. A wishful baton? Is this a giant baton? Or are those small Pokeballs? Because this is not going in my pocket. This is the Divine Solrock. It looks over all of Alola. 
where are you though? You you've just found the puddle of water. Togedemaru, you surely guard a strong, strong Pokemon. What? Weevil? God damn it. This is this is deja vu all over again. You know what? It's time to center the packs. Ho oh. Ho oh, you go there. You go right here, ho oh. You know what? Right here. You will be the final pack I open. Maybe. Topofini. I'm just putting you aside for now. I just want a few more. I bit, a bit more of that Aquafini. This Aquafini is really good. They should do that, man. And like normal fresh water recovers 50. This recovers like 100. Or it recovers 50. That's the joke. Okay, so let's see. We get Inke, Wedding Ralts, The King of Crab Brawlers, Sneasel, Venipede. Alana, can you leave you and your red Gyarados? Heat more. Sit, you, your arm is beef at the tail. You are like a living pumpkin on fire. Po-Town. Oh, it's a reverse Po-Town. That's pretty good. Oh, nice! <laughs> a Dancy, dude. Sparkling Wish and Diamond Storm. They kind of overused the Dancy with the last few sets, but it's still a cool card. And let's see what it says. A sudden transformation of Carbink. Its pink glimmering body is said to be the lovely set in the whole world. That's literally its Pokedex entry. Well, at least... At least Duskull ain't alone anymore. Get out of here, energy. So now we get Necrozma. You two. You two are the counterparts. I have yet to pull a Necrozma. We got another GX. We got a few hollows. This box is a lot harder <laughs> to pull cards in than the previous boxes. Like, I used to get mad GXs. Maybe they dumbed it down, or maybe this is a bad box. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two. I mean, there's still more packs. Shouldn't be speaking so rudely. Look, Marshadow's pissed at me. Okay. Wimpod. Ogetamaru, Krogunk, but you're gonna prove me wrong in this pack, right? Panseer, Magikarp, Acerola, please, Gloom, Goddamn it, Escape Rope, Lucario. Oh, this is just a. Whoa! Dude! You! I'm signing the contract. You proved me wrong right away. Did you see that? There was no spoiler at all. Tapu Fini! The Fini of Justice! Dude, when this thing closes the shell, it's a clam. That is amazing. Dude, Tapu Fini GX, Aqua Ring, Hydro Shot, and Tapu Storm. Shuffle your opponent's active Pokemon and all cards attached to its deck. And then if your opponent has no bench Pokemon, this attack does nothing at all. Oh shoot, it's by five band graphics. Whose production company is that? Dude, this is a nice pull. Tapu Fini, oh I gotta get another Yu-Gi-Oh card out. Tapu Fini. Dude, we actually got one of the Tapus. That's actually, maybe that should have been one of my goals. Just getting a Tapu. I think I said that actually. But yeah, now that we have the Tapus, then big thing to go for is just Necrozma. You know what, Matt? I'm gonna go for the Smart Shadow. Let's see if we can get a, a Necrozma, you know? A Necrozma, and then we can start going for like a trainer card. Cause really we've got like one of everything else. So let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh man. And you know, if you look on the, I could probably pull it up. Look at this. Of course, it's this is the Tapu Fini one. It looks like this when you're getting a good card. So I don't know if I already did the one, two, three, one, two, but here we go. Let's see. So we got Charmander, Marrow, Stitched Underwater, Pantsage. Dude, you guys are in the same place. You gotta get out of there, Pantsage. Oh shoot, I knocked the pack. Esper, Pikachu, a lonely Grimer. Stay away. Persian. Damn, this looks like a, this is a picture out of the Lion King book. You know, everyone got those colored books. Fairy energy, oh my God, that's a creep. Dude, what if you were in a cave? You're just walking and then you just see this thing looking around and walking in the distance. Like it's creeped out. That would creep me out. Freaking giant Charmeleon, tormenting. Oops, it was the Persian. <laughs> God damn it, this is actually a pretty tough box. I don't know yet because we have a few packs there and we got to see what they can give us, man. Screw this hole, I'm opening this one. I just don't wanna open that, just in case there's something good in it. You know, save it for the end, for absolute no reason. Let's see, there we go, one, two, three, one, two, three, let's go. We've got Rhyhorn, Sandy Gast, Hoot Hoot, Tangela, Dupider, Horsey. Do not, why is Horsey all the way here? Crab bomb in a ball. I did the loop-de-loop -loop twice and I got Crabominable, man. This is bad. This is ugly. That is the face of... You lost. 
You know what? I may have to open this whole. Oh, it's just crazy to see. Sometimes you get some odd boxes. Like, sometimes you get a bunch of good pulls. Sometimes you get just a bunch of normal hollows. Sometimes you get nothing. And then sometimes you get like a pull every other pack, which is crazy. So let's see. Ladybug, Alolan Grimer, Riolu. Meow. Okay, Alolan Vulpix, I get it. Weakness policy in a bubble. Porygon 2. Oh, awesome Porygon. Potown. Dude. Oh, okay, it's just the reverse. This is disgusting. It it's so bad. Forest Rationotic Liver, Treacherous Dentra at night. People confused by strange lights can never find their way home again. What strange lights? This thing's just hideous. Alright, we've only got three packs left. Actually, including this, we've got four. So this is the same ho from before. We're gonna start off with this ho oh. And man, Final four. I can't believe it. We did get some good pulls, man. Like, if I actually go through it, we actually did get a, a bunch of good pulls, but less than I would have thought compared to other boxes, you know? But, you know, you'll see what I mean once you see it. So, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see what we get, you know? Topofini. Topofini, bless it. Crab Brawler. Sneasel. Venipede. Horsey. Cutie Fly. Electabuzz. Knock towel, do not spin your head. Tipster Simapore, you got it on the wheel? Dude, meow stick, this is it guys. Why? Electivire, great. You know, I get it, you got all the power in the world. But we've gotten so many of these comments, it's crazy. Don't worry, we got another hole right there. And we also got Marshadow rooting for us, right? You know, let's go through the list again. There's Galissapod, Tapu Bulu, Ho Osalazo, Tapu Fini, Necrozma, Machamp, Lycanroc, Marshadow, Alolan Muck, Darkrai, Gardevoir, and Noivern. Those are the GXs you can pull. Let's see if there's any hope with these last three. And let's see if we can end it off with something good instead of something crap. So, Oddish, Udusko, how many lulls? More lulls. Caterpie, no Caterpie. Meryl stitched underwater. Who did it, man? Guzma, welcome to Guzma's shop. What fine wine would you like? Freaking Whirlipede. Simisage, it's like Simisage is showing me its ass, like patting its ass, like, oh, you lost, F you. You know, every single time I pull this. And then, of course, Executor's over there. Oh, Vile Plume, is this? You know, that's not bad. Dis disgusting pollen. You, you get the bees coming in. Whoa, dude, nice GX. You get the bees coming in, it brings the Salazzo. The Diabol- this got my heart going. That is a really good card. Diabolical Claws, Heat Blast, Queen's Haze is its GX ability. Discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Damn, man. These hollows look so much better than before. And now that, you know, the with the new Sun and Moon set, you get these way bigger images for them that you might even confuse it for being the full art edition. But the full arts come later on down the line. But this is still Salazzo GX. This is a really good card. And I did say I was going to put these in here. So let's put it right in here. And there you go. Nice and protected. Tabu Fini, you take one too. So here we go. Coming down to Necrozma and Ho-Oh. You know what? I'm doing Necrozma. I want my Necrozma. You know what? Why can't it work like that? Why can't there just be unique cards for each of these? You know what? F it. I'm not giving them any ideas. They already look at each pack, don't they? I don't need you looking at it anymore. One, two, three. One, two, three. I don't know how true it is, all right? But the packs are labeled. All right, that's all. Pen pour. Caterpie, Porygon, a freaking sock. I've never seen a throw and that's what scares me. <laughs> Cause I don't want him to be some rare. Oddish, Bufalant, Electric, Ride on who? Tynamo, dude, it's Passimian. Necrozma, you gave me Passimian. I want to rip intentional grounding. You did this to me! You're like, how dare you do that? You threw your freaking. That's it. We're, we're down to our last pack. And it's a Ho-Oh. And the one card we want is Necrozma. And we're not gonna get it clearly, but here it is Sun and Moon, Burning Shadows, the Ho-Oh. Let's see what we get. Well, this is, this is it. This is an advertisement right here. I don't wanna see it. I just don't wanna see it, man. It's not gonna be something good. It never works out like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the worst of the worst. Misty, are you in this pack? You are now, God damn it. Misty's here, Noibat. Dupiter, are you looking to the right? <laughs> Tangela, Rhyhorn, Riolu, 
Soul Rock, Divine Soul Rock of Alola, Ribombi, Sophocles, hack this pack, fix it for me. It's right behind this crab brawler. Hold on. First of all, there's a nasty energy. What are. God damn it, man. No! Arachnid! Araquinid! Araquinid! Whatever the hell! Yeah! Whoop, whoopee! We did it! Did I? Please tell me I screwed up. I didn't screw up. No packs remain. All these packs. Well, these are just two, but all these packs. How did. All these packs. And we only got these. It's crazy. Half the box in this episode. I'm really thinking that Burning Shadows is a lot harder of a box to pull things out of. And, you know, I didn't get a single GX, well, not GX, a uh, secret rare card. I don't know what to call them. Ghost foil, you know, something. Silver. I would call them ghost foil because that's what it reminds me of. But it's a secret rare GX edition of cards. We didn't pull a single one of them. And, yeah, we do have two elite boxes. I am going to open them for an elite box showcase, obviously, because you got Necrozma on the front. That's sick. I've never had a black elite box. So yeah, the cards we pulled were two normal hollows, which were Deancey and Dust Noir. They're really good looking hollows, actually. And then we got Tapu Fini GX. Man, we got one of the Tapus. Salazzle GX. This is actually, you know, a good GX. It's a good artwork card, but it's a Salazzle. And you know, it reminds me of like getting a Wishy Washy as one of my rarest cards. And I'm like, I wish I got something better, but Salazzle GX and then Gardevoir GX. I think of these three, this top of Fini has to be my favorite. But yeah, guys, be sure to check out part one if you enjoyed this part and want to see more. But also, guys, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned. I'm going to be opening up the Elite Boxes and a couple more things. So, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Peace. This is disgusting.